Hello friends, welcome to this session. Today we are going to discuss regarding the concrete block masonry. In earlier sessions also we have seen regarding the various concrete block construction. So today uh, actually we are going to see some special type of construction by using these concrete blocks. Even though we will study regarding the manufacturing process as well as we will also have the glance on the uh, hollow blocks as well. So of the various patterns. So not only that uh, in today's session also we are going to study regarding the how a cavity wall construction can, can be carried out by using this uh, concrete blocks. Then uh, the various types of reinforcements which are used in a solid block masonry. So that uh, masonry uh, can be reinforced with using the uh, reinforcement like uh, Xmate or uh, Brichter type uh, masonry reinforcements are available. So those we are going to study today. So in today's lecture the content is the introduction, types, manufacturing process, properties, advantages. These are the concrete blocks either hollow or solid. A hollow unit is that unit which has core void area greater than 25% of the gross area. They may be used for both load bearing as well as non load bearing walls. We will discuss regarding the types of the solid blocks or there are also hollow blocks are available. So we have seen how, how these particular blocks are used in the construction, what are the various specifications are there. So we have seen also regarding the hollow blocks. So how the economy can be achieved by using these hollow blocks. So that also we have seen and what are the various advantages which are associated with the hollow blocks uh, construction that we have seen. Now in the solid blocks we will see the regarding the manufacturing processes and uh, the cement to aggregate ratio generally it is maintained 1 to 6. The aggregate consists of 60% of the fine aggregate sand or stone dust, 40% of the coarse aggregate 6 to 12 mm size. Proper mixing of these aggregates is carried out. Then this is uh, filled in the mold. Now the molds that can be operated manually as well as machine molds are also available. Proper compacting is carried out. Uh, vibrations are given so that all the gaps will be properly filled and uh, strain can be achieved and proper curing is carried out. So after proper uh, getting the gaining the strain, these are either cured by immersion in the water tanks or uh, by other methods as well. Now let us have the um, uh, glance on the properties of these uh, blocks. Generally these are available in the various sizes. but. Uh, most popular sizes are the 39 centimeter by 19 centimeter by 30 centimeter, then 39 centimeter by 19 centimeter by 20 centimeter, 39 centimeter by 19 centimeter by 10 centimeter. Density that can be achieved solid concrete blocks it is 1500 to 2000 kgs per meter cube. For hollow concrete blocks 1000 to 1500 kgs per meter cube is the uh, density obtained. Compressive strength of the solid concrete block is uh, greater than 5 Newton per square meter square mm. Hollow concrete blocks it is two, greater than 2 to 4 Newton per mm square. So water absorption is less than 10 to 15 percent of the by self weight of that block. What are the various advantages? Now no dressing work is required. It is not necessary to give any shape or size to that. These are light in weight, not much skills are required structurally stronger than the bricks, thinner walls are possible hence giving more carpet area, large in size hence no joints, no, number of joints are less saving the mortar, better insulating against heat, sound and dampness need not require plastering. Now we will see the regarding especially today the cavity walls how it is constructed. So in that we will see what is a cavity wall, what are the advantages of that and what is the construction procedure. Now it is a wall uh, which consists of a two parallel walls uh, separated by a continuous air cavity and uh, interconnected by ties at a regular intervals. The outer uh, external wall is known as the outer lid and the internal 
uh, our inner wall it is known as a inner lip it is usually out, uh, outer lip is thinner than the inner lip advantages uh, as the gap is maintained moisture insulation is proper heat, heat insulation improves by about 25% good insulation against sound cheaper and economical and the fluorescence reduces that because of the moisture uh, sometimes a uh, white precipitation observed on the these uh, wall surfaces which is not observed in the case of cavity walls now construction procedure construction in two leaves uh, in two inner or outer leaf of a hollow space between them the width of cavity is constant with the suitable value between 40 to 100 mm and cavity is continuous in vertical direction except at in lintel on openings the inner and outer walls are interconnected by means of a metal ties or bonding rings bonding bricks the bottom of cavity wall should be well ventilated by use of air bricks and ducts the metal ties are generally wrought iron or mild steel bars they are coated with the hot tar Uh, or are galvanized to prevent from corrosion or rusting now you can see how the metal ties are used at a different level here so this gives the strength so this is the one of the format uh, in which this metal ties is available so um, so various types of metal ties are available in the market so this is the arrangement by which the metal ties are provided in the wall see in the staggered manner but that depends again uh, what types of bricks are used or what is the size of the bricks is in this particular uh, photograph a staggering of a horizontal distance with a 900 mm is shown here and the vertical level between this uh, this metal ties it is a 4 to 50 mm so that depends uh, on the size of the bricks then construction of the openings the cavity is discontinued at lintel level and sill level of the windows doors or ventilators the damp proof course is provided below the sill block or above the lintel top to prevent entry of moisture or water inside the cavity construction at opening so you can see here the uh, various uh, construction you can see this the window is there and how the this damp proof course is provided this is the outer leaf and this is the inner leaf right so on the lintel you can see on the lintel this cavity is maintained and this is a damp proof damp proof course is provided here right so uh, as uh, uh, said earlier that inner leaf it is a thicker than the uh, outer leaf you can see construction at foundation the cavity wall may start from top of the foundation concrete extending up to 150 mm below of the damp proof course of the plinth level no uh, construction at the foundation you can see here at the foundation level this continuous gap is provided cavity is provided so you can see this metal ties is provided here the damp proof course is also provided for the both the leaves and concrete filling is carried out uh, up to some extent here up to the ground level same thing how the ventilation is maintained you can see the air bricks can be used uh, and you can see here the duct is also kept okay so for the proper ventilation construction at the top of wall the cavity is uh, provided up to the top of uh, the parapet wall of terrace and covered with the dpc below the coping of the um, coping block of the parapet on the terrace now you can see here this is a terrace wall this is the terrace wall roof slab is there and this is the parapet wall is there this is the inner leaf and outer leaf see again how the the molding of the slab is carried out there so this uh, damp proof course or you can say uh, uh, flexible sometimes material is used for the moisture uh, this uh, resistance the coping is provided and below the coping this damp proof course is provided and this is the cavity maintained and the strengthening is carried out by providing the uh, metal ties Uh, dropping of mortar is prevented by covering the cavity by wooden battens of teak wood with its thickness marginally less than the width of the cavity so use of the wooden batten to prevent the entry of mortar you can see 
so to maintain this particular uh, uh, cavity intact so when in the construction sometimes the wooden battens are also provided to avoid the entry of moisture mortar in the gap reinforced brick work so why the reinforced brick work is uh, popular again it is used to in the soils with the weak foundation strata that is black cotton soil uh, which leads to uneven settlement it is used in the industrial building subjected to vibrations sudden impact loading due to machine foundations it is used in the buildings in the seismic zones it is used as a lintel over openings for doors windows and as a columns for supporting arches and lintels it is uh, uh, used as a columns and walls subject to the heavy uh, compressive load now what are the types reinforced masonry wall reinforced masonry piers reinforced masonry lintels reinforced masonry slab now in the reinforced uh, masonry wall reinforced masonry wall with the horizontal reinforcement reinforced masonry wall with the vertical reinforcement so reinforced masonry wall with the horizontal reinforcement so mild steel flat of 20 to 32 mm wide and 0.2 to 1.6 mm thick uh, hoop iron flats of similar cross section round uh, mild steel bars 6 mm to 12 mm diameter laid horizontally used in every sixth course of the bricks with 2 to 5 bars steel meshed strips either x mate or brickter is laid horizontal longitudinal course joints after every third course x mate are the uh, expanded metal strips in the diamond pattern available with the width 65 mm 178 mm 230 mm or 305 mm thickness of uh, 0.6 to 1 mm brickter is the straight tension wires about 1.4 mm diameter uh, interlaced with the binding wires of about 1.1 mm diameter protection against rust is provided by dipping the bars into hot tar now you can see this is the uh, reinforcement of a x mate uh, have been shown so the various uh, types of patterns are also available in the x mate then how it is used in the joint okay so this strengthens the wall very much so the gaps between this x mate is filled with the mortar and uh, because of the anchorage the wall has a good compressive strength and the durability as well so this is how the x mate is used at every third layer okay so after every third layer the this in the joint the x mate is provided then again one more thing is that the reinforcement is a brickter so you can see how it is interlaced with the uh, reinforcement so the outer uh, or this uh, particular uh, lines these are thick than the this inner one so this is also one of the uh, reinforcement which is popular in the this type kind of masonry the flats in the form of reinforcement are provided in with a single or double hook joint at the intersection of them at uh, wall junctions or the corners it is also used for the brick lintels reinforced masonry wall with a vertical reinforcement it is mostly used for a retaining wall because of economy up to 3 meter height round uh, mysteel bars of 8 to 16 mm diameter are placed through grooves of the specially manufactured bricks the plastering coats uh, and cement mortars joints are provided with the rich mix of the mortar 1 is to 3 so you can see this vertical uh, reinforcement is provided here okay so which tendons is this particular masonry now the reinforced uh, masonry piers now when the blocks are used for the construction of a vertical column it is called as a pier now mostly provided for the piers of the trusses of the factory sheds piers of the supporting arches long spans vertical bars of 8 to 16 mm miles are inserted in the grooves of the bricks the steel plates of 2 to 3 mm thickness or stirrups of a 6 mm diameter are provided to anchor the bars at every fourth course of the masonry piers cement mortar with the rich mix of the 1 is to 3 is used now you can see here this particular pier so how the reinforcement is used in that now reinforced uh, masonry lintels provided for covering the openings in the masonry on the top of the doors and 
or window the bars are provided with anchoring stirrups at every third vertical joint along with the span of lintel the bricks are uh, bricks are used uh, must be of a quality bricks then rarely used uh, in the, you can say the reinforced masonry slab but uh, seen mostly with the old monumental structure the centering of a wooden planks supported with on walls or beams are is erected uh, to required level it is covered with the fine sand layer reinforcement is placed in the position in between the vertical joints of the bottom layer of the bricks with a proper mortar bed the bricks of uh, bottom layer are laid properly joints are filled properly bed mortar for uh, upper bricks uh, bricks layer is provided in uh, level and upper layer of bricks are laid slab is kept wet for uh, uh, wet for by water ponding by four for four weeks then centering is removed now next very special type of masonry that we are going to use by using the glass block masonry this is popular because of its attractive uh, appearance as well as uh, its uh, property of a transparent uh, as a transparent nature is there or you can say uh, where the light is expected such block uh, glass block masonry is constructed so various patterns are available of these blocks for the better aesthetic then how it is considered you can see how the blocks are used in the masonry by providing the mortar there so you can see how it is a very attractive and how the light is achieved in the any unit of the uh, construction so this is another as, uh, view of a glass block uh, masonry so in the friends today in the today's session we have seen the special types of the uh, block masonries and uh, which are used at a typical situation so thank you very much for joining today's session